Hello everyone, this is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes, and I just finished my very first doily covered journal. And I named her My Story, and it is a collection of very old and vintage doilies. Except these three flowers that are crocheted on the front are newer. And then I have her closed with some sari silk. It has two signatures. Let's go in and take a look. And inside the front cover, I've got this lace pocket that goes all the way across the back and I've lined it with a heavyweight canvas and here's a tag that I have in the front with a little snowflake button and that's just some coffee dyed cardstock that I stitched lace onto and in this journal I have used some of Mrs. Cog's digital kits and they are vintage ice skating, vintage snowmen, and winter words and quotes. So the anchors to the signatures I have a cardstock from a scrapbook pad and I did copy dye it and I used some twill um, like pillow ticking for the page tabs. I have four page tabs. I did some paper weaving and the paper inset is a 1904 dictionary page and here I made a pocket out of one of Mrs. Cog's images and let's take a look at the goodies. I have a shipping tag and this is one of her digitals and this is a journaling card that I made with some lace and one of her um, quotes on some an index card and another one of her images. So there's a lot of writing space and here we've got a quote, what fire could ever equal the sunshine of a winter's day with another image and a tag. And I did try to stitch in all of the pockets. And here we've got some more of the words and I've got little tickets inside with more words and tags. And on the back, couple more words here's one of the images I shrunk down one of my lace dyed pages and here we've got a couple more pockets with another fun ticket. And a little fun tag. Here we have another image I made into a large pocket with some more journaling cards and tags.
and here's a couple index cards that I stitched some ribbon onto. There's a fun little image and another quote. There is no such thing as bad weather, only inappropriate clothing. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's all in frame of mind, right? And here I have another paper weaving. And I have a large tag clip. And I just, I stitched around it and I stitched the images on and I collaged on the cardstock. In the back side, I've got some fun tickets for you to play with. More paper weaving. And here I have a large image and there's a side pocket. Here we've got some more little pockets with more words and little tags. And here's a little ticket. And the tickets are not from Mrs. Cog. I believe, I think they're Pink Monarch. I'm not sure. I'd have to double check. Another little image of a snowman. Some more lace dyed paper. And here we've got a couple of different quotes. And another fun little ticket. Some skaters. This, these kits were a lot of fun to play with. Here's a little snowman getting all decorated. Countdown to spring. And here we've got another pocket with some goodies. Another shipping tag. Another of her digital journaling cards. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. And here's one I made using one of her words, hibernate. And I have some lace underneath it. And another image. And here we've got some more goodies. A large tag. And snowman image and here we've got a little music paper gift card envelope with some journaling paper inside Here we have another tag, and it's got some cheesecloth underneath the image, and some more old 1800s book page. Some more tickets, 
And in the back pocket, we've got some more goodies. A couple more of her journaling cards. And a tag that I made. There's some lace and some old, old book page. And here's from the 1800s and old music. And I did use a five hole pamphlet stitch with this journal. And I left the strings in the center very long so you can do with them as you'd like. But I wanted to show you how I don't have the strings exposed on the spine. I did sew all the way through it. It is a very sturdy, firm, flexible cover. I used um, some craft text on the inside. But what I did was I took the strings and I wove them underneath the doilies to go through so that they wouldn't be on the outside. But this was a very fun journal to play with and make. And the Sari Silk has two layers of the silk. And I did stitch down the center of them first um, to make it sturdier. I want to thank you so much for watching. I am going to list this in my Etsy shop, so watch for it there. And I want to thank everybody for taking advantage of the sales that I've had over the last weekend. And I will continue to have a Cyber Monday sale through Monday. So come on over and take a look lots of great deals. Thank you so much. Have a creative day.